Good evening, Real Life Church. I hope you're doing well tonight. It is Wednesday, the 16th of February. Can you believe that? We are halfway through the second month of 2022. Man, it just clicks off. Anyway, we're glad that you're with us tonight. I hope you're doing well. I hope you've had a good day and are enjoying uh, the Lord's goodness and blessing. I was reminded today uh, one of a powerful verses of Scripture out of the book of Lamentations. Now, Lamentations is a tough book. Uh, it's lamenting, and it's the Lamentations of Jeremiah. And so uh, I mentioned him Sunday, the, the weeping prophet. Uh, but one of the great verses that come out of Lamentations comes from Lamentations chapter 3, verses 19 through 26. And I'm going to read that to you in just a few moments. So if you want to get your Bible and look that with me. Uh, we'll be looking at uh, several things to be praying for tonight. We're going to lift up uh, those who've experienced death recently and those families and a family that is uh, facing uh, a death in their own. Um, so we also want to pray for those who are going through illness Quite a few uh, uh, issues there. And then we'll close with, as we each uh, week pray for our church family, our uh, revival and spiritual awakening in our church and in our world. So uh, again, I'll read from uh, Lamentations chapter 3 tonight, beginning in verse 19. Jeremiah writes, Remember my affliction and my wandering, the wormwood and bitterness. Surely my soul remembers and is bowed down within me. This I recall to my mind. Therefore... I have hope. And so Jeremiah's lamenting his moment. He's, he's in a, a bitter place, a difficult place. But then he remembers and he has hope. Now pick up verse 22. The Lord's loving kindness indeed never ceases. His compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore I have hope in Him. The Lord is good to those who wait for Him, to the person who seeks Him. It is good that He waits silently for the salvation of the Lord. Now that's again just that great reminder. Perhaps today you've had one of those days that uh, you just kind of have been beaten up. Uh, you're struggling. You're just uh, going through lamentations yourself. Just know that His compassions, God's compassions never fail. His mercies are new every morning. They are new tonight for you. And when you wake up tomorrow morning, they're going to be waiting for you as well. So aren't you grateful? I certainly am that God is, is merciful and gracious. Even as we go through the frustrations and difficulties of life, He is faithful. His compassion never fails. His mercies are new every day. Now with that, I want to share with you some folks that we certainly uh, have been praying for, uh, another couple we want to pray for. Uh, continue to pray for the Eagle family. Uh, as I shared with you last week, Miss Effie Eagle passed away, uh, had her funeral service here at the church on Saturday morning. Uh, but let's continue to pray for her husband, Jerry, and uh, her daughter, Tanya, and Tanya's husband, Justin. Great, wonderful people here in our church family. Their two sons, uh, Cody and Colton. So just, just pray for their family. Uh, also continue to pray for the Summer Hour family. Uh, this is uh, the passing away of, of Gary Summer Hour, her, I mean his uh, wife Gloria, and then uh, his son Chris and wife Kelly, who are members here at our church. We're so grateful for them. And so I uh, had spent time with Chris uh, earlier today. So just continue to pray for the Summer Hour as they begin to get into somewhat of a new normal for them. We want to continue to pray for uh, Chip Ashley's father, Wallace. Uh, he is uh, stable, and uh, Chip is able to be with him in South Carolina. So continue to pray for the Ashley family, for Chip and Michelle and their children. And uh, we know that uh, Wallace is a believer. He's ready to meet the Lord any time, but uh, uh, he's still holding his own. So we want to continue to pray for them. And also pray for, uh, for Kim Gordon and Donald. Uh, Kim lost her sister this past week uh, unexpectedly and uh, the funeral service was held on Tuesday so we want to pray for Donald and Kim Gordon and for their family. So let's go to the Lord in prayer right now and pray for these who have lost loved ones and those who are facing that loss soon. Gracious Lord tonight uh, we are glad that we know that your word tells us that your mercies are new every morning. Your compassions never fail. That's so humbling to us. Because, Lord, in our humanness, we, we fall short, we struggle, uh, we sin. 
Uh, we get into places that are very difficult. As, as Jeremiah wrote here, he's just depressed and discouraged. It is so easy for us to get to that place in life. But we are reminded in this wonderful promise of Scripture that your compassion never fails. And so, Lord, I pray for those who are joining us tonight who need prayer themselves. Uh, Lord, just going through difficulty. Lord, let them know that your mercies are new this morning and they will be new tomorrow morning. And God, we pray that for these who've lost loved ones. We pray specifically for the Eagle family. Thankful for uh, Effie and her life. Thank you, Lord, for her legacy that she's left behind. For all the people that were a part of her service. And, and Lord, what a beautiful service it was. But we pray for Jerry today. Lord, we know that uh, uh, going through the loss of a loved one and a spouse is, is overwhelming. So would you minister to Brother Jerry? We also pray for Tanya and Justin. Uh, God, adjusting their lives now uh, without her mom. Uh, we pray for Cody and Colton as well. As, as Lord, they just n no doubt struggle with the loss of their grandmother. So God, be with this precious family. We also pray uh, for the extended family that you'll minister to them uh, during this time of loss. We also, Lord, want to lift up the Summer Hour family to you. We pray for Gloria. Uh, Lord, as she makes the adjustment without Gary being there, uh, Lord, care for her. Uh, help her through these difficult days of adjustments. And uh, Lord, all that has to be done in the loss of a loved one. Uh, we also want to pray for Chris and Kelly. Uh, God, in their loss, uh, it just leaves such a, such a void in your heart. So be with Chris and, and, and strengthen him in the loss of his father. Lord, bless their family as they go through the loss and the pain. We also want to pray uh, tonight for uh, Donald and Kim Gordon in the sudden loss of her sister. Lord, we don't know all of the details to this, but you do. And we ask that you administer to them in a very special way. And Lord, that they would feel your presence and know your peace. Comfort them, Lord in the sudden loss that they are experiencing. And uh, give them, Lord, your strength. And as we've read, the compassion and mercy. And then, Lord, we want to pray for uh, Brother Wallace Ashley. We're so grateful for this dear man and for his love for you and his love for his family. We thank you, Lord, that uh, as he stands prepared to take his step into eternity, that he has made peace with you and he's prepared for that time whenever that may come. Uh, Lord, we pray for Chip and Michelle. Uh, Lord, this is going to be a very difficult loss for them. Uh, Lord, they've had so much loss, even recently, uh, with Michelle's mom and an uncle. Uh, Lord, we just pray for them. We pray for their children. We pray, Lord, that you'll uh, just comfort the Ashley family as they walk through this very difficult time uh, in preparation for, for Wallace's um, home going. So, Lord, just, just care for them. Uh, give them the wisdom they need. Give them your grace and comfort and strength. And uh, Lord, we'll just thank you for that even in advance whenever that time may come. So bless the uh, Ashley family, Lord, as only you can. We pray all of this and for these precious families. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, several folks we're going to pray for uh, this evening that are going through an illness. I uh, want to pray for Eddie Castro. This is a new name for us, Eddie Castro. This is Peggy Arrowwood's brother-in-law. Uh, he could pass at any time. They're from uh, uh, Key West, Florida. And any time they're in our area, they come to worship with us. So I've had the privilege to meet them. So we want to pray for Eddie and uh, whenever the Lord would see uh, to, to take him. But uh, Lord, he is, uh, he is uh, uh, not in good shape. So we want to pray for, uh, for Eddie uh, Castro. Also for Brandon Hoover. Uh, this is the son of Larry and Stacy Hoover. He was involved in a wreck and uh, received a pretty good uh, gash in the back part of his head, but he is home recovering. We're grateful for that, so we want to pray for Brandon tonight. I want to pray for Mike and Lisa Featherstone. Uh, Mike just recently went through a pretty serious surgery on Monday for blood clots in his legs and uh, had a chance to spend some time with them today. So we want to pray uh, for Mike and Lisa and uh, lift them up to the Lord. Uh, they are actually building a new home over in the, toward Lincolnton. And uh, so they've got a lot going on to have this kind of setback now. So we want to pray for the Featherstone family. Continue to pray for Bruce Tucker. This is Lisa Roney's father. Uh, he's been on our prayer list and I uh, want to continue to pray for him. He went through a setback, but he's doing some better. And Lisa is caring for him. So we want to pray for them. 
I mentioned to you the last few weeks, John and Jan Poindexter, uh, members here in our church, longtime members in fact, live right here in the Lucia community. Uh, John is facing some surgery soon this month at the end of the month, and Jan is going through some cancer treatment, so we want to pray uh, that the Lord would be with them. Uh, also pray for Ron Wilden. We've prayed for Ron on many occasions. Continue to pray for him as he goes through his treatments. And then a couple of uh, uh, new ones that were shared uh, just before we started this evening. Uh, Heidi Tomasco, uh, we prayed for her several weeks ago. This is a friend of uh, Suzanne Black. She has uh, brain surgery um, in Pittsburgh tomorrow. So we want to pray for Heidi very serious situation. And also for Suzanne's sister, Laura. Uh, Laura and her husband, Johnny, attend here. And uh, Laura's going through some uh, cancer surgery tomorrow. So we want to pray for her. And then two more I'll share with you quickly. Uh, one is Michelle Baker. This is Kim Robinson's sister. I uh, want to lift her up. Uh, she's got some physical struggles that she's going through. So we'll pray for Michelle Baker. And also, I, I thought this was interesting. I received this through our online service. A lady here in our community named Anna Watts. Anna lost her father a year ago in a, in a bad car wreck, and she had uh, submitted information this past week online, and uh, she's looking to have a service for her father, a memorial service. And, uh, but we want to pray for Anna. Um, again, the connection being made online, and so we're grateful for that ministry, obviously. Uh, but this is one of the reasons we have that. It reaches out to our community. She's been joining us uh, for worship, so we're grateful for that. But we want to pray for Anna and for her family in her loss. So obviously a lot of folks here. I know there are many other ones, but these are some very specific. So join me in prayer now if we'll pray for these. Lord, again, it is our privilege to uh, come to you and to pray. Uh, Lord, you invite us to intercede on behalf of people who are going through difficulties, and it's, it's our privilege and pleasure as a church to do that each and every week. So we want to begin by praying for Eddie Castro. We're thankful for this dear man, and, and we're grateful, Lord, for his life. He's uh, been a fire chief at, in Key West for years, and so many people love and appreciate him. Uh, Lord, as he uh, uh, faces uh, his eternity, we just lift him up. We're thankful that he's a believer. He's prepared to go. And we ask that you'd be with him, be with Peggy's sister and with Peggy. And uh, Lord, just walk them through this very difficult time and give them your comfort and grace. We also lift up Brandon Hoover to you. So thankful, Lord, that he's made it through this wreck. We pray, Lord, that you'll help him to recover well, that you'll be with his mom and dad as they minister to him, and that, Lord, you'll use this time in his life to draw him close to you. We also want to pray for uh, Mike Featherstone. We're grateful, Lord, for how you brought him through his surgery this week. We know that was a very uh, tedious surgery and a very delicate one, but we're thankful that he's done well and that you've got he and Lisa home. So, Lord, we just pray you'd continue to minister to them and encourage them. Uh, pray for Mike's health and strength to uh, get through these blood clots and just get back to his normal lifestyle. We continue to lift up Bruce Tucker to you. We're grateful that Miss Lisa can be with him. Uh, we know, Lord, he's gone through a setback but is, is, is recovering, so we pray you'll continue to give him strength and uh, encourage as he recovers completely through his, uh, his ailment. We lift up John and Jan Poindexter to you. We love this precious couple. It's a very special pr people, Lord, in this community. And God, they're just going through some some real strong physical uh, struggles right now. So, Lord, minister to each one of them. We pray for their health. We pray for their family, that you would care for them and meet their needs, and that, Lord, you'd bring healing to their physical bodies. We continue to pray for Ron Wilden and the treatments that he faces, that you would be with he and his wife, Vicki, encourage them. We pray that uh, Ron's body would respond well and that you would strengthen him. God, we lift up Heidi Tomasco. Lord, we were hopeful that she was recovering, but Lord, as she faces some major surgery tomorrow in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, we ask that you'd minister to her. Bless her, bless her family, bless those uh, who give her care, bless her uh, surgeons and doctors. Give them wisdom, Lord, to know what to do and how to do. Uh, we pray that her body would respond, her brain would respond, and that you'd minister to her. And uh, Father, we also pray for uh, Suzanne Black's sister, Laura, as she uh, goes into some uh, cancer surgery tomorrow. 
We ask that you administer to her and to Johnny as only you can and care for, uh, care for um, her and, uh, and meet her needs. We pray for her physical health. We also pray for Michelle Baker. Uh, God, we lift up Kim, and I know she's very concerned for her sister. So, uh, Lord, as, uh, as she, uh, Michelle faces tests and not exactly sure all the details of the physical needs, God, we do pray for her. And finally, we pray for Anna Watts. We're thankful for this young lady who has reached out to us, uh, our church family. We're thankful she's been joining us. And uh, so we pray for her today. And as she prepares, uh, Lord, for uh, a, a service for her father in the tragic loss a year ago, Lord, comfort her, comfort her family. And we pray that this service could be a blessing to her. So, uh, Lord, hear the prayers of, uh, of these for these. And uh, we'll just thank you for what you do. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, church, we're going to close tonight. And I know that uh, on many occasions in the last several months, we've been praying for a young lady named Rachel. Uh, Rachel is still uh, down in Atlanta. As you know, she had a brain bleed. She knows a lot of people in our community, in our church. In our, she's a graduate from East Lincoln High. So we want to continue to pray for Rachel. Uh, was updated that uh, she has had a setback uh, in her treatment and recovery. So we want to continue to pray for Rachel, and um, so we'll do that. Continue to pray for our church. Uh, boy, we had great services this past weekend. God continues to amaze me at all the people that are coming and attending, those who are attending online. We're so thankful. But pray for this Sunday as we continue our journey into the life of Gideon in the book of Judges. And uh, this coming weekend, we're going to be talking about the struggles that uh, warriors have. So I hope you'll join us and spread that, but be much in prayer for our services. As always, we will close by praying for revival and spiritual awakening, uh, both in our church and community, as well as the, the church worldwide and the, 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 the state of our world for spiritual awakening. So uh, join us for that, and, uh, and we'll close, okay? Heavenly Father, we are uh, continuing to pray for, uh, for Rachel. Uh, God, uh, this young lady who's gone through such a tragedy, such a, a fearful moment in her life and for her family. We're grateful she is getting specialized treatment there in Atlanta. But Lord, uh, we know that she is uh, continually going through major struggles to recover. We ask that you'd be with Rachel. Lord, we pray that you would minister to her, bring about a great miracle in this young lady's life. God, we pray for her full recovery, that she would be healed and come home, be with her family. Uh, God, just, just minister to them. Be with those who treat her. God, give them wisdom as well. God, we pray tonight for our church family as we will be joining together this weekend. Uh, we're grateful for um, the encouragement we gain from your word and particularly from the life uh, of the judges as we look at that and particularly Gideon. Uh, God, we pray that as we begin that study this past week, you'll continue to grow us and show us Help us to be men and women who are warriors, who stand strong in the faith, uh, who, uh, Lord, face the difficulties of life, but face it in your grace and power. So uh, we would ask, Lord, that you'd bless our services this weekend uh, for the children, for the students as they'll be meeting tomorrow night. Uh, God, just do a mighty work in your church. Uh, we pray for revival in our church. Lord, that you'll stir the hearts of those who are believers. Draw us close, Lord, that we might know you. And we pray for spiritual awakening in our community. We know there are many here, Lord, who uh, are curious about you, many who simply don't know you at all. God, would you minister to each one and draw people, uh, Lord, to yourself. And finally, we pray for spiritual awakening and revival church-wide around the world and a spiritual awakening among unbelievers worldwide. God, we live in a, a world that's scary, and uh, there's a lot of threat, there's a lot of fear certainly a lot of doubt. So, uh, Lord, we pray that through the difficult circumstances that we live in, uh, even as Gideon did, that, Lord, you would awaken your people and awaken your church. That, Lord, you would awaken the unbelievers to realize that you are the only hope they have. So, again, Lord, we're just uh, very thankful for the privilege that we have to come to you and lift up our different concerns, our prayers, Lord, knowing that there are many, many even beyond this list. But uh, uh, Lord, you meet each one, minister each one as only you can. So thank you again for your word, for reminding us that uh, your mercies are new every morning. 
So we ask now that you dismiss us with your grace. Allow us, Lord, to rest well so that we can get up tomorrow and be about the Father's business in the King's kingdom. God, you bless and we'll thank you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Now, church family, thank you for joining us tonight for our prayer time. We uh, ask that you just continue to lift up others, lift up one another, be an encouragement to be that warrior we talked about uh, this past week and prepare to come to worship this Sunday and be warriors in our world and in our community. God bless you. Have a great night.